how was your week? Did you have a mm, not so good week, Ori? Good week. I hope it was a good week. It's a beautiful time of the year. I love to go walking outside and see all the beautiful, colorful leaves. Wow. I just, I love that. Love the time of the year. Well, today we're going to talk about numbers three and four. And what are we talking about that would have a number? The Ten Commandments. And so, do you remember numbers one and two? Number one is what? Put who first? Who's supposed to be number one in our lives? God, right. Put God first, put God number one, and worship him. And it says, no other gods higher than me. So who is God? Well, he's the one who created the world and everything in the world. There's only one God who's alive and he cares for you. And everyone and everything in the world. Wow. What a job, right? Who? There's only one true and holy God. Yeah. He is the one. And he also told Moses, and we'll talk about Moses in a few weeks. But Moses, he told Moses, he said, I'm the God who rescued you from slavery in Egypt. You're to have no other gods but me. You're not supposed to worship anybody else or anything else but me. He says, I am to be number one. First place, yeah. And he says, worship the Lord. Love God. He says, love me more than anything else. Putting God first, yeah. God wants us to put him above everything everything else before our before your toys your books your friends your favorite programs anything he says i am your one and only god and i'll take care of you isn't that great he said i love you more than you can know now he says love me and trust me we worship only God because only God cares for us enough to save us from sins. Well, if we're counting, we have one, three, four. Is that the right order? What's missing? Number two. And do you remember what number two is? What's he doing? Is he standing up straight? Is he sitting straight? He's bowing. And God says to no idol or image. Don't bow to other things. Don't make anything, don't make anything more important than God. Don't make idols or worship them. Don't worship other gods. Don't let anything, whether it's money or clothing or sports or playing soccer or whatever, don't make, don't let any of those things be more important than who's number one? God is number one. So, just don't bow down to anything else or anyone else. Worship me alone. Don't do this. Just, just don't. Nothing else. And we'll talk more. But let's pray to the God who created everything. Wow. Thank you, Father. Wow, thank you, God. What a wonderful God. You created the whole world. You've made it. And you care about us. 
and you say, keep me number one. Don't bow down to idols, but keep me number one. I pray you'll help us today as we learn some more about what you've said we should do and shouldn't do. And may we learn. May we love you more and more and more. Thank you for being with us. In your name I pray. Amen. Well, in thinking about all that God has done, can you say, we've got a great big wonderful God, a great big wonderful God, a God who loves every one of us, done so much for all of us, a great big wonderful God. He never, never, never leaves us. He's always standing by to pick us up if we stumble. We're the apple of his eye. We've got a great big wonderful God. Great big wonderful God. A God who loves every one of us. Done so much for all of us. A great big wonderful God. Wow. Okay, thinking about the commandments, do you know how many that we say there are and how many there are in this one list in the Bible? Ten. So let's talk about today number three and number four. Well, let's see. Can you tell what number three looks like? Hmm. Does this look like something really good or is it kind of like <clears throat> and what's this one what are these little hearts love which would you rather have <clears throat> or love well we'll talk about that See, I can get it to stand back up. There. Okay. Well, the Bible says, and the Ten Commandments are listed in Exodus, the second book of the Bible, chapter 20. So that's where they are, if mom and dad want to read them all to you. And we will study them. <laughs> okay. It says, always say God's name with love and respect. That means kindness, not being. <laughs> you must not use the name of the Lord your God thoughtlessly. Don't just, just in any conversation. God is the one who made the whole universe, the whole world. He made us. And he listens to us. He listens to us talk. And, wow, if you use it not good, Jesus just might say to you, uh-uh, don't misuse my name to lie or curse or swear. Instead, call on me anytime in praise and thanks and prayer. God's name is special. God is special. Did you ever think about the way we talk about people really shows how we really feel about them? So how do you talk about people? Do you? Or do you? Talk with love. Do you talk unkind words? Well, let's see. How do you feel about God? Are you thankful for God? Is he a great, big, wonderful God? Or do you think, I don't get what I want. No, he's not. Yeah, 
He is. He's a great big wonderful God. Loves every one of us. Does he and if he loves every one of us, does he love you? He does. Does he care for you? He does. And you can talk to him anytime, anywhere. He's never too busy to listen. And that's really amazing when you consider how many people there are in the world and how many might be talking to him all at the same time. But he's never too busy to listen to you. Amazing. Or me. Or any of us. But when we talk to him, we need to talk with love and kind words and just share what's going on with him. Share your life with him. And you can talk to him just the way that you'd like for him to talk to you with kindness and love and taking time to listen and he cares. Yeah. God refers to himself as our father. Can you imagine the one who made this whole universe, this whole world? He says, hm, I'm your father. You can call me father. Wow. Amazing. Does that mean then that when we pray that maybe we could say Papa or maybe we could say Daddy or maybe Father? He is those things to us. He's our Heavenly Father. He's our, he's there. He is there for us. Well, that's commandment number three is how do we use our mouths? Are we talking to God and using kind words? Are we using Jesus' name? correctly. And then there's another command. Number four, what's happening up on that top of this, on top of the number four? Somebody's sleeping, it looks like, or laying down anyway, and what are they thinking about or dreaming about. Can you tell? Can you see? Crosses. Who do we know that a cross? Who do we know? Who? Jesus. Jesus died on the cross. And commandment number four says, honor the Lord by resting on the seventh day of the week or remember the Sabbath as a holy day. Well, you might think, okay, so Moses started this. Uh-uh, it started way back in the very first book of the Bible and just the second chapter in my Bible. It's on page number two of my Bible and it says, so on the seventh day, and this is talking about God, so the sky, the earth, and all were filled. They were all finished. By the seventh day, God finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it a holy day. Wow. So 
going to church isn't anything and taking time to focus on God isn't anything new to rest and to not work all day and do all those other things. And it says that we should honor the Lord. Show him special respect and admiration by resting on the seventh day of the week. It says, worship God and rest on the Sabbath. God himself rested. Worship God. Worship him. Take time to just especially just focus on him. Not on you, but on him. Who he is, what he's done, what he is doing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, we can talk to him and pray any time, but he says take some special time and just do that. And he says remember the Sabbath by keeping it holy. Take some time to, because your bodies also need that rest, he says. Your bodies need it. Take time to rest. Don't push, 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 push all the time. Take that time to rest. And then a little saying, at church, at home, at Sunday school, you hear my holy word. Receive forgiveness in my gifts and message you have heard. God has given us his word, the Bible, what he says we can believe. He tells how people have down through from the creation, down through Christ's life and beyond, how he has been honored. We need to take time to stop and say thank you. Wow. And look and see what are some of those new things that have happened. There are a lot of changes even in my lifetime. There are lots and lots of changes. But God is still God and he is there. So do remember, remember the Sabbath. And we take a special day each week to rest and worship. And it does say, honor the Lord on the seventh day. We celebrate the Sabbath on Sunday because what happened on Sunday? Do you remember? From the grave he arose. Who came back to life on a Sunday morning that had been nailed to a cross? Who was that? Jesus. Because Jesus came back to life on the first day of the week on Sunday. Yeah. So, we can... Do what we can to keep God number one, doing what he wants, what pleases him. Don't bow down to other idols or other things that we'll talk about on other weeks too. That means we're making them important. We're worshiping them. And he says, uh-uh, worship who worship God, number one. Not other things, not other people. Keep him, number one. And then let our words be kind, loving. Yay, God, you're amazing. Not I want that. I want that. No, I don't like you. No. Let love come out of our mouths. Because God says, 
I'm here. And so he says, again, put God first and worship him only. To no idol or image, bow your knee. Don't worship other things. Worship him. Always say God's name with what? With love and respect. And this one, honor God. Honor God. God, you are amazing. By taking time every week to worship him. To not do work that day, but to focus on him. And to just, oh God, you, yeah, you're there for us. You love us. You take care of us. You help at school. You bring friends to me. You help me to learn. You help. You're there. I'm not alone. Do you remember that we've learned that he's always with us? We're not alone. That's great, too. So honor him. Take time to focus on him and to learn more about him. And there's always lots more we can learn. But keep him. Number one. Yeah. So, thinking of that, my God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing that my God can't do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his. The valleys are his. The stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. For you and you and you and you and me and you. What a mighty God. He loves us. He cares for us. He says, I'm with you. I want you to learn about me, and I'm here to help. What a mighty, mighty God. So this week, remember, who's number one? God. What are we not doing? We're not putting idols and other things more important than God, uh -uh. God is number one. So don't bow down to those others. We're going to think about our words being loving and kind, not... We're going to use our words to speak kind words, loving and helpful. And we'll take some time to focus and think about God, who he is, all he does, and how wonderful he is for you and me and everybody in the world. Let's pray. Thank you, Father. You are a great, big, wonderful God. And you did give us these guidelines, these rules, these Ten Commandments to live with to be our guide to be our path of what you want and may you help us this week to keep you number one to not put anything else in front of you to speak kind words of love and to take time to stop what we're doing and think about you and talk with you and learn about you thanks father for this week and may you just be with all of us. In your name I pray and thank you. Amen. Have a great and blessed week.
See you next week.